Welcome. I'm Brian Hayes with Rotive. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a dynamic link in Salesforce. Perhaps you like to check YouTube to see if that account that you're working with has a, a channel. It might have some videos to help you in your prospecting. So what we're gonna do is create a custom link that then pulls in the account name into that link so that when we click it, we're searching for that company in YouTube. To do that, click the gear in the upper right-hand corner, then click on Object Manager, and we'll add this link to the account object. Click on account here, and then you can come down to buttons, links, and actions. Click new button or link in the upper right hand corner. Now let's give this a label. We'll call it YouTube search. And we can have this be a detailed page link. That is fine. And when they click on it, we want to display that in a new window. That looks good. And our content source will be a URL. So the first thing we need to do is get the base URL that we want to redirect our user to. A lot of websites will show you that search URL you know, right in the URL bar. So it's easy to copy it and paste it into the system. I'm gonna to go to youtube.com and then in the search bar, we'll search for Rotive. And you can see in the URL bar, we've got youtube.com forward slash results, question mark, search underscore query equals Rotive. So let's see if we swapped out Rotive for Salesforce, what would we get? There we go, now we're getting results back for Salesforce. So the only thing we need to swap out dynamically is what's after that equal sign. Go ahead and copy that entire URL. We'll come back here into Salesforce and there you can see it, search query equals Salesforce. And then instead of having Salesforce just hard coded in there, go ahead and delete that and instead choose account name from the dropdown for merge fields here, click insert and now we've got a URL that has a search query of whatever our account name is. Go ahead and check syntax and then hit save. We can then go to page layouts and we can add it to the layout. In the toolbox at the top here, click on custom links and then scroll down to where we've got our custom links area. It's gonna highlight as green once you drag that link down and add it to the layout. If we pull up an account record now, we can take a look and see if we can search YouTube based on the name of this account. So there's our link, YouTube search. Click on that, and you can see that we are searching for Burlington Textile Corporation of America. And this can be extended to all sorts of different websites. Either you're dropping in the ID of a specific type of record, like a financial advisor profile or a parcel of land, or you're doing a query, like on YouTube or Google or other sites. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, click like, and let me know what other sorts of videos you'd like us to make. Thanks for watching.